Hey guys, we are back at the property today. Me and the kids come out. Um, Bob had to work. It is Tuesday. Um, last week we rented an excavator and we cleaned up a lot of the property. We knocked over some trees and dug around on some rocks and got um, things kind of smoothed out. But today, um, or toward the end of end of last week when we had the excavator, he had um, we did not get a chance to clean up his last bit of work that he did. So me and the kids um, are out here today and we're gonna be stacking and pulling those trees out of the way so that tomorrow when the excavator gets here, we can actually um, just get right to work instead of having to move all those trees out of the way that was left over from last week. So that um, he can just, Bob, can just get on the um, excavator and just get right to work smoothing out the ground and knocking over any more trees that um, need to go. There is still a lot of little trees and things like that that need to be done. So hopefully, since we didn't get it all finished last week, we will be able to finish it this week, or at least enough of it so that we can, you know, um, not have to rent another piece of equipment anytime soon, um, at least not for land clearing. So if you take a look around, it's a lot of those, those types of things that we're just gonna be pulling out and stacking up like we did last week. Um, over here on this side, there's also the same. He just went, we spent the majority of the time last week, we spent in the front of the property where there was a lot of rocks and then he ended in the back of the property and it was just, it was super easy just knocking over the trees. We didn't have to worry about any um, rocks being in the way. So. It's amazing the difference in the land from one spot to the other on just an acre. So, anyway, that's what we're doing today. We're not going to, um, we are actually going to take our time and do it. It is, like I said, it's just me and the kids. So, um, you know, it'll take us a little bit of time, but we will um, just be stacking and pulling things out. We're just happy to be here, happy to be on our property and just get, you know, the kids get to play and <sighs> we get to think about it and plan for things, plan for the future, plan, you know, make plans on what we want to do, where we want to put gardens, where we want to put, you know, this and that, and just, um, they're excited about tree houses and building little shelters and stuff, so that's all fun to watch them just explore and be creative and just be out here. So, some of the trees are not all loosened up, rooted up. So we're having to, the only thing we brought was two, two rakes and a shovel. So we used the shovel to a very dull spade shovel 
to break the roots on it and it was tough that was a little hard that was a little, little bit of a workout but see there's a couple more as i was pulling on that are attached so note to self for tomorrow we need to bring our breaker bar which would have made that a lot easier and a chainsaw so that because the cutting of the trees those large trees you see over there was just a little bit too much for the boys they got about a quarter through and could not finish the job so tomorrow when we come out we'll grab some um we'll grab the chainsaw and we'll grab a breaker bar in case we run into anymore which we'll have the excavator so i'm not quite good there. so we will uh we can just dig up the roots but just in case we'll have it here for our little projects or side things that we're working on while he's running the, on the excavator so anyway we're gonna keep on working it's, it's getting a little warm it's not as bad as it was the other day it was right at 100 the other day and today i can just just it's like flirting with Nandi. so um we're gonna finish out the kids are playing and um Liv's helping right now and josh has been helping and we are just going to keep moving for another about another hour or so bob gets off around four we're going to try to make it back home by the time he gets home and then we'll pick back up in the morning Me and the kids got things cleaned up yesterday, so we're back today with Bob. The um, excavator got delivered yesterday evening uh, while we were still here cleaning things up. And um, so this is what we got. We got all those trees cleared out. The problem that we were running into was the roots still attached to things, and we didn't have um, the proper tools, the proper hand tools to get those dug up. We were using shovels, but some of them were just really hard and really thick and big and we just couldn't do it. So we are, uh, Bob's going to hop on this here in a little bit, a few minutes and just get started and we're going to hopefully finish everything up uh, today with uh, using this so that we don't have to run it again for a little while. So he's going to start, there he is back there, he's going to start on the back side of the property today and try to knock out as many little trees as he can. Okay, so he's gonna get the chainsaw hooked up, ready for me to, not hooked up, gassed up, lubed up, oiled up, whatever. Whatever he's gotta do to get it running. And I'm gonna take some, while he's on the ex excavator, I'm going to 
go to some of the larger trees so that we can get those um, knocked down to size and probably firewood size. I mean, what is it? They measure the length of the blade, but that's the small one and that's the larger one. So a little bit bigger than the, than the small one. So we're going to do that and then we'll, um, I'll probably walk around if I get that job finished and he's still working, I will go around and cut some trees, little trees. Hey guys, I got a little helper on my back. So we took a little break and now we're getting ready to get back at it and start. Um, I'll show you the, what he cleared earlier and then um, what we're doing right now. We're just about to finish up. It is about six o'clock and we'll probably be around nine um, if we don't leave sooner, but we wanna get as much work done with the machine as possible um, while we have it, while we've got it. So I'm going to start moving. So let's go. Um, okay, so this is what he's done this morning. All, so he's cleared out everything that we're going to clear out up on this upper part of the back side. Um, knocked down all the trees, dug up all the roots. Um, we took them up to the front, drug them up to the front, and did the big pile that we had had to get some new gloves because we were rubbing us put hose in the other ones and we started to get pine sap all over me so anyway um he is now on this side and he's finishing taking out the uh the little trees and whatnot over here but everything is starting to really open up and we can really see where things are going to start to be and kind of just get that overall picture of what the property is going to look like once we once we're over here and we start building uh, now all the plans are starting to come together and you can really see what's what's about to happen so all right i'm going to go over here i'll see what i can do with him on my back but we may just be walking around moving some little stuff uh, out of the way and kind of do it involved on what we want done
me see. Let me see. Daddy Paw. Where'd you go? Let me see you. What'd you do? Mm -hmm. Say bye bye. What? I love you. Well, let me see what you guys did. On my back? Huh? Can he get down? No, he's okay. Ooh, you guys did a good job. What's happened? I think I did. What's okay? That happens. I thought he did. Uh huh. And yeah, would it hold up in a windstorm? Huh? Would it survive in a windstorm? No. no. Well, that's okay. It's that's nice. That's why we did it. That no windstorm. Oh, very good idea. So this is the front of the property looking in, and he's working his way from the back. He's he's probably in the middle right now. So he's coming forward a little less than the middle, a little closer to the front. So we're hoping to he's gonna just try to push his way through here and open all this up. So he's making progress. He's a little closer now. So what we're doing here is I've kind of give up on pulling these trees up because I've got jet on my back and it's getting late in the evening and as you can see there's a lot of trees to come down or do, that have come down that need to be moved out so I think it's going to require a lot more time. So we're just kind of walking around watching him if he needs anything and um, We'll wait until wait until we can get a fresh shot on it another day, and um, maybe maybe next week we will just cut these down to a little bit smaller sizes and stack them all up. But he has done. This has been such a productive day. He has done so good. So so far he has cleared out the property line. Like I said, we've just been making big bundles and big piles. Not really sure what we'll do with them yet. Chip them, burn them, haul them away. So, all of this, he still has a little bit in the front to go, which this is moving pretty quick, so we'll be able to get to that real soon.
so that finishes us up for this week. If you haven't yet, please like and subscribe, um, and we will catch you next week.